Crit 7. I am Amramana and welcome to my class. Well done with completing your module number 1. Now we'll move on to module number 2. Solving problems involving sets with the use of Venn diagram. What I need to know. At the end of the discussion, you are expected to define Venn diagram as used in mathematics. Use Venn diagram to write a set notation formula. Identify the steps in solving problems involving sets with the use of Venn diagram and apply the steps in solving problems involving sets with the use of Venn diagram. What's in? This is a Venn diagram. In mathematics, Venn diagrams are used to analyze known information obtained from surveys, data reports, and tables. It uses circles to represent sets and to illustrate the relationship between the sets. The areas where the circles overlap represent commonality between the sets. For example, the red circle is our set A, and the blue circle is our set B. Now, the part where the circles overlap, or all the elements inside the violet line, are all the common elements present with both set A and set B. Let us have a quick review about operations on sets. We have the union, intersection, and the complement. Union, the combination of all elements in set A and B. Example, set A is equal to 1, 2, 3. Set B is equal to 3, 4, 5. A union B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sa union, pagsasamasamahin lang natin ang lahat ng elements sa given set. Intersection, all elements which are common in set A and B. Example, set A is equal to 1, 2, 3. Set B is equal to 3, 4, 5. A intersect B is equal to 3. Sa intersection, hahanapin lang kung ano ang element na magkaparehas sa given set. And last is the complement. Complement are all elements which are not in set A. Example, let U is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Set A is equal to 2, 4, 6. So the complement of A is equal to 1, 3, 5. Sa complement, hahanapin lang natin ang lahat ng element na wala sa set A na meron sa set U. Now, let's study some Venn diagram and their corresponding set notation formula. 1. The shaded region is the intersection of set A and set B. Makikita sa larawan na ang may shade ay ang overlapping part ng circles na naglalaman ng common elements ng set A and B. Kaya ang ating notation formula ay A intersect B. 2. The shaded region is the union of set A and B. Makikita sa larawan na ang may shade ay buong circle ng set A and B. Kaya ang ating notation formula ay A union B. Number 3. The shaded region does not include any elements of set A. Dito naman ay tanging set A lang ang walang shade, kaya ang notation formula natin ay A complement. 4. The shaded region does not include any elements of set A and B. Ang nakashade na part ay lahat ng element na wala sa loob ng set A at set B. Kaya ang notation formula ay quantity A union B complement. Number 5. The shaded region does not include any elements that belong to both A and B. Ang nakashade na part ay lahat ng elements na hindi kasali sa intersection ng set A at set B. Kaya ang notation formula ay quantity A intersect B complement. Let us try this exercise. 
write a set notation formula to describe the shaded region. Try to answer number 1. Let's see if you got the correct answer. For number 1, the notation formula is M union P. Did you get it? That's nice! Let us have number 2. Try to determine the notation formula. Let me show you the answer. F complement. Did you get the correct answer? Very good! For number 3, comment your answer below. What is it? In solving problems involving sets with the use of Venn diagram, different steps must be followed. These are Step 1. Given, wherein we will identify the given. Step 2. Sets, wherein we will identify the number of sets to be used. Step 3. Draw. Draw the Venn diagram using the given data. And last, step 4. Answer. Answer the given questions. Let us have an example. A class of 38 students from grade 7 were surveyed and asked if they have cats or dogs at home. 10 students said that they have a dog only. 8 students said that they have a cat only. 14 students said that they have both a cat and a dog. Six students said that they don't have either a cat or a dog. Questions A. How many students have a dog? B. How many students have a cat? C. How many students have both a cat and a dog? And D. How many students don't have either a cat or a dog? Again, to solve this problem, here are the steps to follow. Step 1. Identify the given. Step 2. Identify the number of sets to be used. Step 3. Draw the Venn diagram using the given data. And step 4. Answer the questions. Solution. Step 1. Identify the given. There are 38 total number of students from grade 7. 10 students who have a dog. 8 students who have a cat. 14 students who have both a dog and a cat. 6 students who don't have a dog or a cat. Again, all the given data are taken from the problem. Step 2. Identify the number of sets to be used. In the problem, there are two sets specified. We have the dog and a cat. Let's move on to step 3. Draw. Let us draw the Venn diagram using the given data. Since in the problem there are two specified sets, a dog and a cat, we have two circles. Now, let's put all the given data. How many students have a dog? That's right, we have 10. How about students who have a cat? That's correct, we have 8. And there are 14 students who have both a dog and a cat. And of course, we have the 6 students who don't have a dog or a cat. Now, step 4, answer the given questions. Letter A. How many students have a dog? So we have 10 plus 14 is equal to 24. So makikita po natin na sa circle ng dog, nandin yung 10 at 14. So that's why we add them. B. How many students have a cat? So sa circle ng cat, nandin yung 14 at 8 students. So let's Add them, we have 14 plus 8 is equal to 22. C. 
how many students have both a cat and a dog. So we can see from the Venn diagram, we have 14 students who have both a cat and a dog. And last, D. How many students don't have either a cat or a dog? Again, from the Venn diagram we have drawn, we have 6 students who don't have a dog or a cat. Did you understand? That's good! Let's try another example. 120 coffee drinkers were asked whether they used cream or sugar in their coffee. 55 of them used sugar. 36 of them used cream. 16 of them used both sugar and cream. Here are the questions. A. How many coffee drinkers used sugar? B. How many coffee drinkers used sugar but not cream? C. How many coffee drinkers used cream? And D. How many coffee drinkers used cream but not sugar? Again, here are the steps to follow. Here's our solution. Step 1. Identify the given. We have 120 total number of coffee drinkers. 55 coffee drinkers who used sugar. 36 coffee drinkers who used cream. 16 coffee drinkers who both used cream and sugar. Step 2. Identify the number of sets to be used. There are two sets specified in the problem, cream and sugar. Let's have a step 3. Draw the Venn diagram using the given data. Since we have two sets specified in the problem, we have two circles. One for the cream and one for the sugar. Now, let's put all the given data. We have 36 coffee drinkers who used cream. 55 coffee drinkers who used sugar. And 16 coffee drinkers who both used sugar and cream. Now, from this given data, how many coffee drinkers doesn't use cream and sugar? Let's get the sum of all the coffee drinkers that uses cream and sugar. 36 plus 16 plus 15 is equal to 107. Now subtract it from 120. We have 13 coffee drinkers who doesn't use sugar or cream. Let us have step 4. Answer the given questions. Letter A. How many coffee drinkers used sugar? We have 55 plus 16. We have 71 coffee drinkers who used sugar. B. How many coffee drinkers used sugar but not cream? Try to guess. That's right. We have 55 coffee drinkers. Number 6. Letter C. Rather. How many coffee drinkers used cream? What is the answer? So we have 52 coffee drinkers. 36 plus 16 is 52. And last, D. How many coffee drinkers used cream but not sugar? That's right. We have 36 coffee drinkers. Congratulations, Grade 7, for completing your Module 2. That's all for now. Keep safe and God bless.